All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be diving back into the 8HP70 transmission tuning. We're going to be looking at shift scheduling again, and we're going to look at the way to uh, add an off road mode to the shift scheduling. So instead of using the sport mode button that I showed or that I was showing in another video, um, which for me is aggression two. We're going to change the shift patterns to be uh, desirable for off-roading. Off-roading. When I say desirable, what happens when you're off-roading in this transmission is, let's say you're starting to climb an obstacle and you're in first gear. Mid-climb, it will quickly shift into second gear and then the third gear, and that uh, it can kind of give you a sensation of rolling backwards or like you don't have full control over the vehicle while you're trying to, you know, climb these rocks. Um, that kind of was an issue. You know, you could slap it in manual mode, but um, Let's say you needed to quickly throw it into reverse. That's just an extra step that you're going to have to do in order to throw into reverse. You got to throw it out of the manual mode and then put it in reverse. Um, so I wasn't really fond of that. And then the other issue that I was having is, um, let's say you wanted to start in second gear, even with the manual mode, it automatically goes back down into first gear when you come to a complete stop. Um, which is just kind of annoying. So I wanted to have just more control over what the transmission was doing. Um, so if you take, uh, you can look on your uh, VCM scanner to see what actual aggression you are when you put it into sport mode. Um, I'm an aggression too, so it uses all five of these shift patterns. So let's take one of these. This is kind of my stock everyday driving shift pattern. So you can take it, you can copy it, and then you go over to this Excel sheet from the tuning school and I'll post a link in the video how to get this. You can paste it into this cell right here and then you'll get the RPMs that you're actually commanding to shift at. So here's the RPMs, here's one to two, two to three, here's the percentage of the uh, pedal. And then down here, this next uh, table, this is the RPMs that you can choose where you want it to shift. So if you look right here, one to two, I have it so it shifts at 3000 RPMs, no matter what the, the pedal position is. And then two to three, I have it shift no earlier, earlier than 2250 RPMs. Same with all of the shifts going up. I have them, I don't have them shift below uh, like 2200 RPMs. And then from there on, I have them shift higher, progressively higher with more pedal. <clears throat> in the two to one table, I have it uh, zeroed out. That way it will automatically shift from two down to one. And then I have the uh, the rest of the table. It'll automatically, when I'm off the throttle, it'll automatically downshift to each gear down to second gear. Um, but if I give it more throttle, let's say I give it 29% uh, throttle, it has to be the RPMs have to be under 1500 RPMs for it to actually upshift. So that'll give you a little bit more control to staying in gear, not worried about it downshifting. You'd have to be the RPMs would have to be pretty low for it to downshift. Um, again, if you're in the middle of driving and you want to have the normal map, you just take it out of sport mode, hit the button, and drive like normal. But uh, this will give you a little bit more flexibility coming up to an obstacle and you can click your sport mode button and you can climb it in second gear. If, let's say you need a little more tire speed or you can put it down in first gear using the manual mode and then click the sport button and it'll stay in first gear until 3000 RPMs. You could change this up so it won't shift out of second gear at all. So then once you figure out where you want it to shift, how you want it to, it'll automatically convert it back to the output shaft speed. So then this is the numbers that you would take and you would paste it into your table here. So 
and then it will look like that. This will be your shift pattern. You paste it into your shift pattern there. And you have to do it in all five of the actual shift patterns in whichever aggression is yours for the uh, sport mode. And then once you do that, you can go and test it and see how it, how it works. So let's upload this tune to the Jeep and go test it out. One more thing I wanted to add, um, our transmission, the torque converter, it locks up in every single one of our gears almost instantly as soon as you start to move. Um, I've noticed uh, a lot of the off-road vehicles, you hear them have I think, a lot more slip in the transmission. Um, and I, I feel like that's kind of, it can cause the transmission to run a little bit hotter if you're constantly slipping it. But I feel like that will uh, prevent things from breaking if you allow like the uh, torque converter to um, stay unlocked in like first and second gear. It won't be a, uh, a solid connection between the transmission, the motor, and the actual like axles. It'll be uh, allow a little bit more slippage. So um, I'll give this some testing, but that's just kind of something I've been thinking about changing to see see how it is, just maybe zeroing it out in like second gear and first gear, for instance. So I will do some testing on that and uh, let you guys know what I think. If you guys have any input on that, let me know, leave a comment. So let's go test out the actual tune in the Jeep. All right, let's go test this out in the Jeep. But There it is. And stay tuned for more BMW projects. Here's a little sneak peek of what we've got to show. computer attached to the USB over to the actual uh, PCS OBD port. You're not using the Jeep OBD port, you're using the one that came from the actual transmission controller. So then we can go and upload the tune. Make sure your Jeep's off first. Alright, so here we are in the HP tuners software so we will make sure to open up the right uh, tune this is the off-road mode that we're testing so then the key is on so then we can write the tune write calibration all right it is completed so we are good to go so we can go ahead and test start or start it up. All right, real quickly, I'll go over the sport button, and I will show a link to the actual uh, video I made right here. But um, the sport button is right here. I added it. it. Turns red when I actually activate the sport mode. It is a setting that's in the PCS software, and you have to use part of the wiring harness to connect to the switch. And that will change your actual, um, like you can see there's normal mode and then uh, down here sport mode and a lot of the settings in the actual transmission. So let's, uh, we'll pull up the, uh, the scanner and we will go for a quick test drive. So I have the uh, HP Tuner software pulled up and we are going to go for a test drive. Let's push the sport mode and see what it does. It is in second gear and it's going to wait until 2250 RPMs before it will shift. Which will be nice off-roading in low range. You know, you can, you can test it in high range just to see the effects of it. parking lot and we'll test it out in low range to see what we think. I also uh, turned the torque converter off in first and second gear so we will see if uh, I can notice a difference with that at all also. So the sport mode is still clicked on. It will not 
not downshift once I come to a complete stop stays in second gear I would have to move it to manual downshift to second gear and then I can go back into uh, drive and then it'll stay in first gear till I believe 3,000 rpms I made it so there it goes and shifts but it won't uh, go down the first gear So let's put it in low range and kind of see how it how it is. Okay, again, right now it's in second. If you want it to go to first, you can just come to replace stop, put it in the manual mode, and it goes down to first just like that. And then it'll stay in first gear. Starting in second gear, sport mode button hit. If I start to slow down, if I'm too aggressive on it, slowing down, it will go down the first gear. But if you are kind of just normal on it, it stays in second gear. So if I were to be slamming on the brakes, I think it might just be like an emergency feature it has where it'll downshift all the way to first no matter what. But if you're just kind of normal stopping, second climb it then it will stay in second so this is the uh, changes that I made to the tune and to the actual shift scheduling and this is only for off-road use only and uh, you know do this at your own risk but uh, I can definitely see the benefits for it so all right thanks again for watching day next video I can go over some changes that I've made to help improve fuel economy